Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Apple's stock price. More particularly, we're gonna be taking a look at the recently announced four for one stock split. We're gonna be taking a look at Apple's stock analysis, as well as my thoughts on whether I think it's overpriced, underpriced, or at fair value. Let's go ahead and take a look at Apple's recently announced four for one stock split. Now I just briefly wanna go over what a stock split is for anybody who doesn't know what exactly is a stock split. So you can think of it as, you, know, you have a lemonade stand, right? And you have $1,000 worth of shares that you wanna to sell to another person. If the current price of your stock is at $1,000, but you only have one share of that stock, you can go ahead and do what's called a stock split, where you split the stock from $1,000 to let's say $100, right? But to keep the same value of the original share that we had, and now we have 10 shares, each worth $100. All right, so 100 times 10 makes $1,000. So before we had one share that was worth $1,000. Now, because we did a stock split, or in this case, it'd be a 10 for one stock split, we now have 10 shares for every one share that we had previously. So now each of those 10 shares are worth $100. And notice how they keep the same value, right? But now we just have a larger quantity of technically the same thing. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. This past Friday, Apple announced that they're going to be doing a four for one stock split on their shares. So since their current price is at around $380, that means that they're gonna, we're just gonna run it to let's say $400 just for these purposes. If it's $400 currently, then when they do the stock split, which is announced to occur on August 31st, then that means that for every one share that you own currently, they're gonna split it into four different shares, each share valued at $100, All right? So if you have $400, they're just gonna split it to $100 each, so it keeps the same value from before and after the split. And yes, as for dates, Apple's going to be doing the split adjusted uh, share price on August 31st. So that means if you try to, if you look at the stock market, August 30th, you'll see it at the $400-ish uh, share price. And then on August 31st, you'll see it adjusted back down to about $100 per share. And that's pretty much what it means to have stock adjusted share price. And I just wanna further clarify, this doesn't mean that the value of Apple is going down by any means. They're just splitting the stock. So originally from one share into four shares, so more people can go ahead and buy cheaper shares but pretty much it'd be a smaller percentage of ownership of the Apple company. This is Apple's fifth stock split since it went public back in 1980s. The last time Apple did a stock split was a seven for one stock split back in 2014. So this is pretty exciting for Apple. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Apple's recently released quarter three report. So if we take a look, we see that they recently did had a 1.7% increase on their iPhone revenue as well as their 21.6% increase on Macs. They had a 31.6% increase on their iPad sales, 16% on their uh, increase on their wearables, home and accessories, and then as well as a 14.8% increase on their services. Yeah, a 30% increase on iPad sales, that is crazy. But their expense margin is at around uh, 70%. So that means for every $1,000 that Apple sells for either the iPhones or the iPads, it costs them $700 in expenses. Or this is also called their expense margin. So what that means is for any of Apple's hardware sales, such as the iPhone, the different iPads, the MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, it costs them about 70% to make of the total amount of money that it takes for them to sell. So if they sell a MacBook Air for $1,000, it costs them $700 to make, so they only make $300 in profit. But with their services, they actually have about a 32% margin expense. So that means with their services, such as their uh, Apple Music subscriptions or their uh, Apple TV Plus, stuff like that, you can also do the, uh, they have like the Apple storage that you can sign up for as well monthly, where you pay like a dollar and you get extra storage to save stuff on your phone, stuff like that, that would be Apple's services and they have a, about a 32% margin expense on that. So that means the extra, what is that, 78% uh, um, of the money that they make on those different subscriptions, they're able to directly profit from those. So that is one benefit with Apple coming up right now, uh, especially during this whole 
situation where everybody has to stay home and stay indoors, they're really able to take advantage of the situation and profit on those services. And it helps that they're really pushing their Apple TV Plus products as well as other subscription services you know, that people can pay for at the home, All right, So we can really see some large growths in this sector, in the services sector. Plus, if we also take a look, if you combine MacBook and iPad sales together, it's about 13.6-ish billion dollars in revenue, whereas services is just shy at 13.16 billion in revenue. So for all the sales that they had this last quarter on MacBooks and iPads, was just a little more than their overall sales and subscriptions services for this last quarter. So in this coming months, we could see a continuing uh, growth increase in Apple's services sector. Now for the final question, should you go out and buy Apple stock at about $400 a share right now? I personally think with this current announcement of the four for one stock split, Usually with a lot of companies, whenever companies announce that they're gonna do a stock split, there does tend to be a surge in their prices in about the week to about month after they announce their uh, stock split. Because usually once they announce a stock split, it takes a couple of weeks and then they actually do the stock split. So people get excited. They say, oh, you know, if I buy the stock now, I'm gonna have four shares, but it's still the same amount, right? So if you have one share and it costs, and it's 1%, uh, ownership of Apple and then you split it into four you take that 1% split into four now technically speaking if you buy that uh, Reduced shares or so from 400 to hundred dollars a share by that hundred dollar share now you only really own 0.25% of Apple so it really is technically the same thing I've, I've never really understood why people get necessarily excited to go out and then buy the stock just because they announced a stock split but I do think it's exciting that despite this whole situation, Apple is still able to increase their revenues and increase their profits on across the board, all of their uh, different sales, right? So as of right now, I do think it is a bit overpriced. Again, just with the whole announcement of their stock split, plus not to mention their great, very great um, revenue uh, report this coming quarter. Very, they did very well. so. I do think everybody's just a bit excited right now, so maybe just be a little more patient. I would like to see it more at about $375 a share. I would feel a little more comfortable buying it around there. But as of right now, I do think it is a bit overpriced just with the whole stock split. I just think it's, it's I mean, it's increased over, it was a 14% increase in the last week. And yes, some could argue, hey, they've had a really great quarter. That's why they had such a great surge. But I think part of it is incorporated with people are getting hyped up because of the stock split. So I would personally recommend wait, try to see it at under around $375, maybe $350. And then from there, you know, it's at a more fair value. So this has been my quick analysis on Apple's stock, as well as a quick rundown on Apple's recently announced stock split. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.